All right. Okay. Somebody's already here. Okay, someone's already here. All right, well, there's people inside touring the property, so I gotta wait for them to be done. I've never had this happen, actually, in the uh, years that I've worked for this, uh, or worked with this company. I've never come and had somebody in the property touring it. I'm gonna have the little point of view camera on my hat right here. That's what I have just so you can kind of see my perspective of taking pictures. And we'll talk a little bit. And yeah, we'll see you in a sec. Do you guys lock up with the, the key and put it back in or? That's oh, fine, I can open it too. Okay, that's perfect. Cool, thank you. Yep, take it easy guys. You too. All right, and we're in. Okay, just gotta make sure that what I'm filming here is I'm gonna go through and flip on all the lights. Seems like it's pretty similar to the other floor plan. Seems just a little bit smaller though. Oh no, it's different. Heat. We don't want heat. We don't want vent. Hello. Okay, so this one is smaller. Oh, it's, it's more open. I like this actually. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I wonder if this is the same remote thing. Oh, no, it's that one. All right. Okay, so this is just kind of what real estate photography looks like. Okay, hopefully that does something. So we do have to put this furniture back out but we need it on, so that's what we're gonna do. Maybe something like that. That probably goes right there. And looks like we're missing a pad, which is probably why they took it off. All right, there's the ocean. This little, this little point of view thing is gonna come in handy. All right, so let's get photographing in this light right here. Okay, Okay. so photos on the floor plan. This won't take too much time at all. So my settings right here, I've got shut, uh, aperture of F8, ISO 320. You know, I'm just gonna bump up this ISO just a tad because I've got a full frame camera that's pretty good handling noise. I'm gonna set it up, make sure that all my lines are green and take the picture. And I have it set to silent, so it's not gonna make any noise, which is totally fine. In fact, I kind of prefer it that way. And this way too. And skinny little fridge. And take an angle like that. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm getting used to this little point of view cam. So if something's not looking quite right, I'll review it in the footage and I'll get better. Don't worry. <laughs> this is just kind of showcasing what, uh, what it's like to shoot properties. It's not really anything too crazy or too special. It just, you know, is what it is. Have my camera all the way here on 12 mil, nice and wide. And show that little washer dryer, but I want to get out of that reflection, which means lots of hiding. And like that, decrease the shutter speed a little bit and zoom in. Increase the shutter speed, or sorry, decrease the shutter speed there. I'm always mixing that shit up. And just so I don't have to Photoshop later, looks like these people brought some crap in. And we'll just throw it out. Just so we can take the picture and have it be totally fine. Nice little fireplace. So with this, what I'll do, so I'll take a straight on shot with the doors open and then I'll come over here and I'll shut the doors and take another shot. That wind gets quite loud in here. I don't know if you can hear that. That's not an interesting shot at all, but it showcases the space quite well. I really hope that I'm 
filming everything correctly. That would be kind of sad if I wasn't. There's some schmutz on my lens. Just taking pictures of everything as we go. Don't even need to take a picture of inside that closet because it's not necessary. Okay, now we take some pictures outside and then we gotta bring those pillows back in so they don't blow away. It's windy out here. Probably not gonna be able to hear anything I'm saying. Beautiful. All right, let's bring this stuff back in. Then we're gonna do the floor plan. And then we'll be done. Okay. Let's do the floor plan. Okay, it's an apartment. Start at the front door. Doopa doopa do. Right. I got creaky, creaky place in here. I always like to show the closets inside the floor plan. Show behind the doors. Show this is a door. Go inside the closet. And go outside real quick. done. Save and send for later. All right, now we're gonna flip off the lights and this light, we'll lock the bottom one, turn on the camera real quick, just take a wide shot. I guess we can flip that light back on. Okay, and now we turn that light off, door is locked, Lock the top one, bottom one's locked, slap that in, and close it. Take another shot, and another shot right there, maybe another shot like that. These small spaces are hard to shoot, so you just want to capture everything you can. This is where a 12 mil really comes in handy, because it lets you really see everything, which is very nice. Sorry, it's gonna be windy. A little bit wider, just so you can see the whole building. Okay, do a shot like this. It's not the prettiest shot, but shows the water. And we'll take a cell phone picture of the sign up there. Okay, so what'd that take me? 16, almost 17 minutes to do the entire thing. That ain't bad. That's photos and a floor plan of a property. 300 and some odd dollars for me. I usually charge more because my photos are 199 minimum and 125 floor plan, but these clients, I still charge $175 for base photos just because they've been my client for so darn long. So we're gonna go to the front gate, or it's not even a gate, it's just the driveway and Got to take a picture of the front where it says Tanglewood, right there. Perfect. And we are done. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video showing you what real estate photography looks like. I'm gonna try and do, well, I'm not gonna try and do, I'm gonna do more of these POV scenes. If this, <laughs> I hope it came out like viewable. If it didn't, I'll just, I don't know, scrap it or try and salvage what I can. But I'm going to try and do more of them because I feel like it gives a really good indication of what being on these shoots actually feels like from, you know, my 
point of view perspective to give you an idea of like, hey, I could totally do this. And it's also going to come in handy for like filming uh, me doing real estate videos to give you a better perspective of like what gimbal settings I'm using, you know, what my arms look like while I'm holding them. So there's all that kind of stuff. I'm headed home. Those are my shoots for the day. Wasn't anything too crazy. It's kind of slowed down from the beginning of March. Uh, I've had some other shoots that I haven't filmed. I think I've gotten kind of lazy doing these car videos because I haven't been doing really any of the, the valuable like scripted ones. And I still have to film a few videos for my book that I just haven't done yet. So <laughs> I got to get that done. But hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content. If you have anything specific of things that you would like to see on the channel, please comment them down below. My coaching program is available for people to join. I am having a lot more people in the program than I expected, but I, I think my uh, how much I can handle is also a lot higher than I initially expected. I was thinking uh, initially only 25 students every six months, and then I was like, ah, oh, 25 students every three months, but I think I can do more. So if you want to join, let's have a conversation. It'll be a ton of fun. You don't even have to join. Just talk to me. I'm lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. I just talk to kids all day long because my children are the people I spend the most time with. All right, that's enough of me rambling. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.